All right, thanks, guys. The Doosan Bears take on the KT Wiz, 5.30 a.m. Eastern start time. The Bears are the $1.30 favorite. Totals 10.5, juice to the over. The Wiz are catching even money on the money line. They're also laying a buck 65 for some run line cash. Now, I'm 3-0. and My last three extra daily picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page following Tuesday's betting action. I'm also 8-3 in my last 11 extra daily picks in that same package. If you want to sign up for that package or if you just want to check out the website, maybe browse a little bit, I do really great sports pick subscriptions on that website beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. Link for that website is in the description section below. And once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now the Wiz, they've lost three out of their last five. They gave up 11 runs to this very Doosan team in game one of this series. They also lost 14-3 to to the Kai Woom Heroes during that stretch of five games. The Wizards tied with the Lotte Giants for seventh place in this 10-team KBO. Both teams victorious in just 11 out of their 25 games on the season. Both teams actually with a win percentage of just 440 as well. They're taking on a Doosan team who's won five out of their last eight themselves. They beat the Lotte Giants two games to one in their last three-game series. The Bears are just one game back of the LG Twins for second place in the league. They're 15-10 and 10 overall for the year. And when it comes to this total on this game here, the Bears saw two out of their last three stay under the total of 10.5 runs. Seven out of their last eight also stayed under that number. The Wiz on the other side saw four out of their last eight stay under the 10.5 themselves. Give me the deuce on Bears minus a buck 30 and the under 10.5 in that contest. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's KBO baseball action. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is right around the corner. Now, before we dive into some more of this video here, I just have to quickly remind you once again that after Tuesday's betting action, I'm 3-0 and my last three extra daily pick premium plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And once again, that's a really great website where I sell sports pick subscriptions beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. There are also a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. A lot of great stuff, a lot of variety there. One of those packages is actually called the Extra Daily Pick Tier Membership. It's only $2.99 through the end of the month, and I'm hitting at 8-3 in my last 11 picks in that category, and that's good for 73% during that span. I strongly recommend you at least consider using the website for sports picks. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on, and once again, that is patreon.com slash rockpage. And with that said, let's go ahead and dive back into two, uh, back into some free content here. And we're going to take a look at the Kai Woom Heroes squaring off against the Hamwe Eagles. 5.30 a.m. Eastern first pitch. The Heroes are the $2.30 favorite. Totals 9.5 flat. The Eagles are minus 105 catching the run and a half. And plus $1.70 for an outright win. The Eagles saw four out of their last five games get over the total of nine and a half runs. The Eagles also saw six out of their last nine get over the nine and a half as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Heroes saw three out of their last four fly over that total themselves. Meanwhile, five out of their last seven also got over the nine and a half. So if you, uh, you know, if you're looking to bet the total, there's some info for you. And if you, uh, you know, if you want to think who... <laughs> If you want to know who I think is going to get the job done on the sides, I'm so excited about this. Sign up for my daily best play right now on patreon.com slash Brock Page. It's only $1.99 to sign up. You'll get a sports pitch. Uh, <laughs> sports pitch. You'll get, Yeah, you're getting a pitch right now. It's uh, really, really good. Uh, once again, if you want to know who I think is going to win this one outright or maybe cover that run line, the only way to find out is to sign up for my daily best play for just $1.99 at patreon.com slash Page. Link for that site is in the description section below. So with all that said and done, all that stumbling around, when it comes to this game, I'm going to take my daily best play on the sides, and I'm also going to lean toward the over 9.5 in that contest. Woo! Good job there, Brock. All right, moving on. 
Lotte Giants squaring off against the Kia Tigers. 5.30 a.m. East. The Tigers are the heavy $2.75 favorite. Totals eight and a half juice to the over. Lotte's plus a buck ninety-five for a win and minus a buck ten to keep it close. Now the Giants were destroyed by the Tigers this morning by the final of eleven to uh, eleven to two. They also lost game one of this series by the final of seven to two. Lotte's one and six record in their last seven is good for just fourteen percent during that short span. That current skid has also dropped the Giants into a tie for seventh place. The Giants are taking on a Kia squad who's won three out of their last four, including a 10-6 victory over the second-place LG Twins. The Tigers have scored 28 total runs in their last three games. Now, total-wise, Kia's last four straight all got over the total of eight and a half runs. Lotte, on the other side, saw their last four straight get over that number themselves. Give me the Kia Tigers minus one and a half and the over eight and a half in that game. All right. Next matchup, Samsung Lions versus the LG Twins, 5.30 a.m. Eastern start. The Twins are $1.62, totals 10 and a half. And if you like the Lions in an upset, they're plus a buck and a quarter and minus 162 catching the run and a half. Now, Samsung's coming fresh off a 12 to 6 victory over this very LG Twin squad. Not only did they double the Twins up this morning, they also beat them in game one of this three game series, two to nothing. Now, the Red Hot Lions have won six out of their last seven and gave up just 13 runs in those victories. The Lions are just two games back of third place in the 10-team KBO. Who'd have thunk it after the start of the season? They're taking on a twin squad who's lost three out of their last four, including a 10-6 loss to the Kia Tigers during that stretch. The Twins also saw three out of their last four games get over the total of 10.5 runs, Meanwhile, on the Samsung side, they saw two out of their last three get over that number themselves. So with all that in mind, give me the Samsung Lions plus one and a half and the over ten and a half in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be the Red Hot SK Wyverns taking on the first place NC Dinos, 5.30 a.m. Eastern uh, first pitch. The Dinos are the $2.50 favorite, totals nine and a half flat. And if you like the Wyverns to get the job done here, they're plus 180 on the money line and minus a buck 18 catching the run and a half. Now the Wyverns took game one of this very series by the final of eight to two. They also went five and one straight up in their last six. Good for a win percentage of 833 during that short span. The Wyverns held their opponents to just 16 runs in their last five victories. They're taking on a first place Dinos team who's actually lost three out of their last five themselves, including a nine to one beatdown to the Samsung Lions. And scoring wise, the Dinos saw their last four straight get over the total of nine and a half runs. Six out of their last seven also got over that number. Meanwhile, on the Wyvern side of things, well, they saw their last five straight get over that number themselves. So it looks like a pretty juicy spot for over betters here. Give me the SK Wyverns plus one and a half and the over nine and a hook in that game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs from our Patreon platform. Shout out to Chris Fasolino, Mark Simmons, Greg Kazemka, Serge Brook, Julian Gomez, Joseph Victorian, Alvin Reyes, and Walter Jiminson. Next, from our Instagram platform, shout out to Samila Myla, uh, Drought Beer at Home, Iris Maizu, Daniel Marignanu, uh, Will Kenger, Tara Patoven, Pal Lashley, and Brian Chanaki. And finally, shout outs from our YouTube platform. Uh, shout out goes to Just Whatever Productions, Julio Vargas, Labetti Pronostiki, and Montclair Mike. Also want to give a shout out to Max Peasy, Stephen Lewis, Leslie Botang, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, Alex Frazier. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you decide to sign up for Patreon, we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. We do that. That's an auto bill. So uh, you'll sign up today. Uh, you'll get access through the end of the month, and then the 1st of July, we'll just auto-build that account and keep you rolling through the end of July. But anyway, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. 
I really hope you enjoy all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Wednesday or Thursday to you, depending on when you're watching this. Best of luck to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.